Can you get a job as a Unity or Unreal Engine game developer? Because a lot of game studios are using their own custom engine, especially the big game studios to create big games. And custom engines, they only have access to that because it's not public. We never probably heard of those engines and we never touched those engines. So how can we work? If you get a job in a game studio, how can you work on that custom engine if you're a Unity developer or an Unreal Engine developer? First things first, all of these engines, same as game programming, the principles of creating a game, the core principles, principles, the fundamental principles are the same. So it's the same how you create a character, make him move, make him jump and all that stuff in Unity. It's the same how you do that in Unreal Engine as well. The only difference is in Unreal Engine, you're going to use blueprints. Maybe you're going to use Bolt in Unity. They have maybe similar or different nodes. You're going to use C Sharp for Unity, C++. The code is also similar because both programming languages are object-oriented programming languages, which means if you learn one engine, Unity or Unreal or both, it will be very easy for you to transition to the other engine, the custom engine that the game studio is using. That's one thing. The second thing is a lot of game studios are also switching to Unity and Unreal. From the big game studios, Rockstar Games using Unreal Engine, Red Project or CD Project Red, they're creating the new Witcher game in Unreal Engine 5 and yada, 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 you get the point. Most mobile games or mobile game companies are using Unity Engine because it's easy and all of that stuff. The third thing is, which game engine, now I talked about this, I have a video talking about this. If you are an Unreal Engine game developer, you know C++, you are at a little bit more advantage than Unity developers because C++ is the main game programming language. So even if the game engine in the game studio is not Unity, is not Unreal, or basically in this case is not Unreal, 99% of the time it is using C++ as its programming language. So if you know C++, you know all of that, it'll be very easy for you to adapt. But again, even if you don't know that, you will be able to adapt to that game engine and throw away all the garbage. And I'm going to say like this, all the garbage and stupid advice that I see some people on Reddit say, oh, just ditch Unity and Unreal at all, start creating your own engine because that's the, you know, blah, blah, blah. That's not the case. Of course, if you have created your own engine, you understand how engines work behind the hub and all that stuff, that's a big plus. But it doesn't mean if you are a Unity developer, or Unreal Engine game developer, that you cannot get a job in a game studio because it makes no sense. You already know one engine, you created a few games, it will be very easy for you to adapt to the new engine the game studio uses. So don't overthink it, don't over overcomplicate it, just apply for the job that you want to apply to. Even if you're a Unity developer and you're applying for a job where it says, we are looking for an Unreal developer, apply because it's very easy to transition from Unity to Unreal and vice versa. It took me probably 10 days to transition from Unity to Unreal. To understand everything, how it works in Unreal and yada, 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 and maybe a additionally one, two, three days to get a grasp of C++ and know its syntax and all that stuff. So don't worry about that. That's why we focus on fundamentals. That's why we teach the fundamentals. That's why we preach the fundamentals. Because when you understand all of this, what we just said so far in this video is very easy to understand. It's very easy to whatever when you understand the fundamentals. So that's why focus on learning the fundamentals, object oriented programming, variables, and all of that stuff. So focus on learning that instead of watching a tutorial after tutorial and course after course that makes you just copy paste what's being done in the video. And then at the end, you have a game that you have no idea how it's created and you don't know how to create anything on your own after that. So this is basically how you learn the engines and no matter which engine you learn, you can apply for a job using that engine.